interesting. Let me just do one thing here. So here's a couple of things I want to share with you. Okay. Um, first, from the beginning, I'm just going to, I'm not going over H2 orange to other than color coding. And you're going to see how this is going to tie into mopping and flat mopping. So the okay. first thing I just want to, I just want to reinforce is how critical <clears throat> using color coding is. And this is going to tie into a systematic process for your nursing homes by using, clearly you can see, using red and green. Right. So bottles, as you, as you know, like because you're an H2 orange to user, ties completely into using color right. coding for your yep. application. So this, you can see how important this is, whether right. it's a patient care area or whether it's a resident room or whatever it may be. So red and green, right. very, very important. And the discussion of red and green is directly related to using mops. Now, today you've invited me here today to do some flat mopping education. I'm really seeing the differences between a string mop and a flat mop. Correct. So if, we, if you're successful in using flat mopping, um, you can color code that to the charts, to the bottles, okay. to the use of the product, helping you easily systemize the housekeeping department on what to use and where to use it. This is Would really that an, make a difference as far as the chemicals goes, um, uh, as the string mop versus the, um, uh, the uh, flat mop? Yeah, so the problem with string mops is you really can't get color coding. It doesn't allow you to, re they don't really make colors in those mops. Um, I got you, I understand. That's the difficulty of it. So you can, of course, it doesn't matter to me at the end of this discussion whether you use a string mop or a flat mop. I personally love using flat mops and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Right. Um, so you can see that's the most important thing. I'm gonna push this out of the way and I'm gonna explain flat mopping to you. So the okay. first thing I wanted to say is there's a couple of different styles of flat mop. This is the okay. Velcro version. As you can see, okay. this is Velcro. And then stay right there, I'll just show you the difference here. Uh -huh. Um, there's also a, a second version, which is called the pocket mop. So the Velcro mop. As I've you can seen see, the the pocket mop is what I've seen most most used yeah. in 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 the in the industry. Yes, and that's going to be the one that I'm going to probably recommend to you too. So for the sake of speed, um, you know, you could just see here, and I'm going to show you how this works in a minute. You're going to basically have the ability to take that mop, as you can see, and then these oh, wow. mops, which I'll explain. They wash really well. These have a uh, looped edge to them, so they're really effective. And okay. that mop allows you to very quickly mop in a special way. And I'll explain why, and I'm gonna take you into a restroom and show you how. So the first thing about this, Abe, is with, with the flat mop, most people don't think it's big enough. But remember, right. the, the width of this mop is the width of any string mop. So when you're using- How, big, how big is that mop? What are we looking at there? What is it, is it across? 18 inches, and that's a lot. Remember, you're not- oh, Really, it doesn't even look like 18 inches from here. Yeah. Actually, so here, on the floor, these are 12 inch tile. I'm standing in 12 inches. Right. If you see the distance- you I see that. I so see that. Tile, so that gives you an idea. You don't okay. use it this way, you know, again, you're using it more in a width pattern. So the way this works is, if I walked into a patient room, or the first thing I would do is with the wet mop, and I'm gonna show you the bucket in a minute. You okay. basically edge out the room. If you notice, what's really effective about using a flat mop is you can get a nice cutting edge. You can't get that with any other type of mop. So you can cut the room out. You're going to go okay. around that room and cut the edges. Once you do that, you're going to walk down the middle of, a, of that room and you're going to, in a sweeping S pattern, you're going to mop that room out. That and room that's, out. that's done so you can continuously bring the, the soil back to you, the dirt to you. That's exactly my point. So that's the biggest thing. Very cool. Very right. cool. You can only push the dirt into a Correct. corner, into an edge. But with the flat mop, you can remove all the soils, all the sand, all the rock salt, all the cookies, everything at the same time. And that S pattern allows you to uh, effectively move the Very material. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So that's the most important thing. And, and let me just say this. You, if you look at the amount of... You know, you have the adjustment on these, and I'm going to, uh, again, you can adjust these depending on the height. Right, right, right. This, this area, if you think about it, look at the amount of coverage that you really get, right? How big, how big of a space are we looking at there? Just give me an idea of footage. 12 feet. The blue is 12 feet. Wow. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve feet. So you have 12, 12 feet. feet. This is a twelve foot fan, but if you look at the amount of coverage, you can't get this coverage with the, with a string mop. No, no, no. Of course not. And it's a different type of motion too. Yeah, it's now here's completely... the thing you do. When you're in room and you're doing IV poles, look at the effectiveness of getting in between and around tight areas. So you can't do this with a string mop because you're pulling the tassels from everywhere. You're getting a nice tight edge and you can do a really effective job. That's the value nice. of this mop. The slap up. Now, the only thing that I have, which I'm, I'm, which you mentioned, um, was how do you ring a map that of like that? That I've never seen. That I've, that I've, this, uh, this, this is you showing me sold. But how do you, how do this is with something you know using reusing the same. Oh, hold on, hold on. Just stay with me. I'm with you. Stay with me. I'm going to show you. All right. I should be connected here. Let me just see. Stay with me. Well, I'm with you. I'm going to get connected here. Can you hear me still? I can hear you. All right. Let me just see how is it that I'm not getting connected. Um, can you see something there? Hold on. Hold on. Um, which one is this? No, no. Hold on. Post attendee gonna... Zoom. No. Stay with me. I'm trying to get my screen set up so I can see you too. Just stay with hold me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. I didn't want to screen share here. I don't know why it's doing this. Stay with me. I'm struggling okay. a little bit, but I'm going to handle this. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Where's my? Oh, because I was on. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Wow. okay. <laughs> yeah. I got you. So I'm ready for you. I'm here. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I love that. Look at that. You're able to adjust that. That's so cool. Yeah, so this is what we're going to show you. So here's what you're looking at today. I'm going to zoom in on this for a second. <clears throat> okay. Adjustment here. So what you're looking at is that mopping system. This is what we call a two-bucket, twin-bucket mopping system. The so you have a this bucket, as you notice, there's a dirty bucket on the red side, and there's a clean solution on the blue side. On the top of the ringer, I'm looking. As you can see, and I'll show you this, you have a ringer on the top. To, to, uh -huh. to ring out a flat mop, there's a foam insert here that allows you to ring out ring out that mop. You can see how that rings it out. Okay. If you use a string mop, you take out this insert and then okay. you have a larger a larger capacity for and it. it will only ring into the dirty mop side. Yes. So here's how it works. You're gonna put your clean solution in the blue bucket. Okay. The clean mop, all the mops that you're gonna use are gonna stay in the clean side. Okay, with sitting in solution. They can put the clean solution in the, in the, in the one side. And okay. Them up, okay. It rings, the dirty water rings to the dirty side. When they're done with that mop, they can also drop that mop into the dirty side. So meaning, the, unlike, unlike a string mop, you're suggesting to continuously use new heads, new mop heads? What I usually say is this, this is kind of like, a, it's, it's kind of an open discussion, I'm going to tell you why. In large okay. hospitals, they prefer to use, oh, let me move the microphone so you can hear me better. Hold on. I can hear you fine, I just, I'm, I keep shaking my head thinking that you can see me. <laughs> so in, 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 in hospitals, what commonly happens, Abe, is they like using one mop for one patient room. Okay. In hospitals, in nursing homes, you can load two or three of these. Okay. And they could basically, for two, two or three mops, depending on how dirty they get, they could probably do two or three resident rooms until that mop starts picking up massive amounts of soil. Um, they also have the option of only using one mop. So if they ring it properly. Meaning if, it, just like if you were looking at, I mean, if they were doing a string mop, they, were, they would be, they would typically use that for, for, for all day. Yep. You know, we know what it looks like. So yeah. it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do, but I would. I, it's a very interesting concept. What does this compare, this, this, um, this, this uh, mop uh, ringer bucket system, 
well, uh, compared to uh, as far as dollars and cents to, yeah, so, uh, to. So, you know, when you buy a yellow, cheap, single bucket um, mopping system, they're very cheap. I mean, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 80 bucks. These, right. These are, I'll get your pricing, but they're a couple of hundred dollars. Um, right. Remember, you know, you don't have to. Buy, this is me. I'm explaining to you what a lot of nursing homes are doing. More and more nursing homes are going with twin bucket systems because it gives you the ability of rinsing the dirty water. No, I like that idea. The question, though, is I'm thinking is, and I happen to like that a lot. I always bothered me that they keep more so than the than the other points you brought out that they keep just yeah. you know reusing it and reusing it. I know at home, for example, we would have to actually continuously ring the mop, and this is a smaller area. Exactly. Um, the 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 question though is, I know that for example, the current the current um, mop. Um, uh, uh, buckets go onto the made carts, you know. So, for example, if I bought a Rubbermaid cart, I'll have a a you know a a a, um, a yeah. cart a uh, Rubbermaid, not a Rubbermaid, or even a Rubbermaid. I mean, a, a mop ringer sitting right on that cart. Yeah. So they're not actually pushing that around separately. You yeah. end up losing uh, that with okay. doing that. You have that option, and in a minute after I move out of this room, I'll go back to the other camera. I'll show you exactly what you're asking. Matter of fact, let me see if I can do it right here. Stay there for one second. Well, I'm here. I think I can show you this. Um, let's see. Here we go. So check this out. Are you the one that cleans these rooms? Because everything looks nice and shiny. Is it just that it's not being? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or is it not used at all? Uh, <laughs> oh, I do. So that's, that's the name of the game for me. Can you, can you see this, Abe? Let me see. I see that. Yes, I do. So oh, okay. So, right up here at the top is the mop bucket, and then you have the option. So, so very often, very often the mopping system fits on the Rubbermaid cart. We wouldn't know. We would have to check the measurement. But now, look. I, by the looks of it, by the looks of it, it looks it looks much wider. In Santa, the other ones are square. Wider, you know. And, and let me just say, a lot of times, some people don't. Um, they, they like to use the mopping system separate because especially if someone's pushing it out and doing a room, you have the option. If you want to push it out on the cart, of course, you need this different system. But I'm going to propose it both ways to you. So you're going to see it both ways. Um, mm -hmm. And you can see they do a lot of other different type of cart systems. This is unrelated. You already own carts. You don't need to buy carts. But you can clearly see that once people get into color coding, they like staying with color coding because the color coding allows them to use wall charts and matching bottles. So that's common. Uh, let me just go into this last thing. Uh, okay, let me just stop that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I think the thing I wanted to share with you is that you have the option, you know, obviously, um, I just want to explain the mop too, another thing to say about a flat mop, and I think you'll appreciate this. You have the option, um, as you can see here, of doing baseboards so that you can flip that mop on an angle and you can yep. do it. Yeah, very smart. Yes. I see it clearly. You can't do a lot of this. You can't do a lot of this with flat, with uh, string mops. So there's your edges. Um, you right. You can also do your edging and your baseboard. And the other thing you can do, which is not something you're going to do every day, but I think you'll appreciate it, is, is when necessary, on a nice clean mop, you can also offer wall washing. So you can go into those shower areas and you can cover all those areas with a flat mop. You can't do that with a string mop. Correct. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't think of that either. I mean, I wouldn't even think of using a map like that. But I know from my experience, actually, it, 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 the the flat map, just because of the way it's shaped, if you go, for example, you're standing next to the toilet bowl on the right, you know, on the right side of it, meaning on your on your right side, exactly. Yeah. So that I've seen multiple times. Like you said, what ends up happening is they get they end up pushing it all, and they get yeah. you have a very thick right behind there. Exactly, no, exactly. That's something that you can't do with the string mop. You can really get tight around that ball, and you can really right. edge it really well. So that's the, that's what we love about these is that they're very versatile. Um, they're not as good as picking up a gallon of milk, right? So if you have a string mop, right, right, right. I'm not telling you not to own string mops. I just don't think you need you know 100% string mops. I think if you start reducing your string mops as they die, and you replace them with flat mops, you'll always keep a handful of string mops around for they, long they were, time. They're not going anywhere. They're not right. going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah. But the right. system, that's very cool. I mean, that's that's that's, 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 that's look. 
to increase the level of cleanliness, if you're taking your string mop and you're putting it back into the same disgusting, dirty water, and yeah. you're gonna use that black water to clean the next room, you can clearly see how it's a problem getting anything clean when you're using right. What right. the bucket, What the twin bucket does, Abe, it's a 75%, 25% ratio. So when you bring that mop and you put it back into that dirty solution, you have the option of separating that solution. You can then take that dirty water, which is the red bucket, and dump that dirty water. Right. And then when necessary, they can refill the clean water. So here, yeah. here's what I suggest. How big are these buckets, just for practical purposes? How big is it? Oh, the size? The, the, and the, the full one, the one, the, how big oh, are they, the gallons. sizing? How much do they hold, the gallon? Three gallons two on each side. I didn't hear you, I'm sorry, what did you say? There's three gallons on each side, so it's a total, you gotta remember, you have to remember, you're not using all of that. You're, you're only using clean solution when you fill it. A lot of right. people look for five gallon mop buckets. This total capacity is about six gallons. And they're very, very narrow and tiny. So here's what I suggest. Even though we haven't, you know, even though we haven't measured everything out, if you buy one of these and try okay. it, just one system just like this and get used to it, see if it fits on your cart. See if your people like it. We'll have someone come down and train you also, of course. But the bottom line is this is a very, very simple system to use. Um, and everything snaps directly on it. But you want these to, you want these to fit on your maid's car, right? That, I mean, to me, I feel like it, it would be, we, you would continue to, I would say probably, like you said, continue to keep those ring regular traditional ringers and the bump and the string buckets on probably one or two carts around the main areas and on the second floor where I don't have an eating area and I don't have a lobby I would probably continue to keep only one of those I mean that's where I would try that first yeah yeah I, I yeah. think so. you know I, I, I can say this it's not an easy conversion sometimes you know people are so used to using a string mop right so a right lot of times they don't want to convert to something like this so you really, at the beginning, you have to be somewhat selective on who you give it to, because those people that really do want it to work and use it every day, they help those people who don't want it to work use it. When they see how simple it is and how fast it is and how easy it is to mop with this, everybody right. follows. So there is a bit of a psychological training involved. And in everything. I always say yeah. in a nursing home, in a nursing home is in, in particular, it's, it's not only here, it's, it's across the board. You have it. Uh, Whenever you want any type of change, you know, this is going to be, uh, but housekeeping I've always found to be a, a little easier than, than nursing, so to speak, and, and, and yeah, dietary. Absolutely. You know, and again, we do these in larger systems too. Now, I know you've already invested into the Rubbermaid cart, and that's fine. Um, if this doesn't fit on the cart that you already have, um, you, may, you may be able to just buy just the flat mop. So forget, if the bucket's not for you, you could still use flat mops. This doesn't stop you from... I'm, no, I was going to say the same thing. I'm no worse off with or without it uh, because I'm continuing to use the non the the the, the, the dirty water anyway, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, it it would be it would make no sense. I mean, even even so, to continue using a flat mop, we're using, for example, instead of the old push brooms, we've converted now primarily to that style flat mop broom, um, and and people appreciate that because like you said they're able to it's just the broom the s pattern the pushing motion that they have it gives them a much wider uh, space as well meaning they're rather than the actual you know uh, the traditional broom so i would love i would try that over there okay, we're going to mop with green which is nice too so that's going to match the wall chart um you're going to be able to use the spray bottle if necessary so you know it's really nice if you eventually get used to this and you slowly implement it um, most of the people that use flat mops will never go back to a string mop. They'll really love to use these, and we've been very, very successful at get, pe get people to use them on it. Convert job. into that. The here, conversion. For you, Abe. I'm going to send you, we'll get proposals sent to you on the Please. flat mops the and the system and the carts. I'll get, I'll get it all laid out in price for you, um, and then we'll get Abilene to price it out uh, competitively as they should, and then we'll. Well, then, uh, if you decide to experiment, you know, at the very minimum, all you need to really buy is the mop and the handle. That's all you really no, need. No, I would love to see it up. Like I said, I know I'm looking at Diamond where we just put in your product. So I would love to see one or two of these on the top floors okay. where, I don't have, where I don't have the need 
of having the, like I said, having that string map on the actual cart. So, yes, you continue using the cart, and you can always keep that. But if I, even if it doesn't fit, I can have one or two of these, just as a regular routine, just mapping. You understand? Not just, uh, you know, they, they'll you'll continue using the cart to replace, you know, the sanitizer, the soaps, the the liners. They they're picking up the garbage. They continue to use the cart. They have to have the spray bottles on there. Um, they'll, they, you know, it's not going away anywhere, and they have to have the locked cabinet as well. But I think upstairs where I have it's, it's the same size. It's just it's not as big, and um, and they can really use some some some. I would I would tell them to just keep it up there and see how it works, and then worry about it, you know, downstairs where I have the large lobby, the eating, the dining room, the rehab uh, room, the, uh, you know, and so on and so forth, the larger common areas, you yeah. know, I, w I would probably try to do that first with them. Yes. And let me so, say, when, yeah. you string mop, when you're using a string mop, you're putting lots of saturation and large amounts of water down on the floor. When mopping takes place, it should really be damp mopping. This will also prevent slip and fall when someone's coming out from a, from a resident room onto the VCT. So that, you know, again, most people don't bring that string mop as, as, as soft, I mean, as hard as they should. And they basically allow a lot more water and moisture to be down on the floor. With flat mops, it reduces the amount of saturation and it leaves less, less of that water and that saturation down on the floor. Again, we, we, in hospitals, they, will, they really love to use it because it leaves that floor damp versus sweat. And it's really mm -hmm. very interesting. Very, very interesting. How big is that? Uh, is that uh, that that uh, that map you have hanging on the wall that looks huge? This one here. It's not that one. The other one. Yeah, that one right there. Right there. No, no. I'm sorry. The first one you went for. So the first one is is a little different. What this is is um, this has the tube on it. Now this is ah the, okay. I see that. The ability to push a button at the top, right? Right, there. right, right, right. This looks like more yeah. of a residential type idea. Yeah. This is a good. This is a good thing. But personally, I'm not crazy about it because there's never enough solution in there. Right. The other thing, I have, we, my wife has a smaller version of that at home. Well, here, here's another thing. So these are called trowels. You see what this is? Yeah. So this. Where would you use that? How would you use that? In what well, scenario? What? In what? In what? The, well, not, so when you get a housekeeper that she's in a room, she could use this thing and literally go into a shower and scrub that wall down with a trowel. And this allows them to peel these off, so they're Velcro, they peel off, right? and then you put a clean one back on, and she can go right into that room and scrub that whole room down. Interesting. And that's enough to take off um, some, uh, you know, well, you have a nice she's clean wall. It, she's doing it by hand right now. If you think about how she's doing it, she's taking a towel and she's putting the towel over her hand and she's trying to right. that wall down with her hand. Right, right, right. So when you've got a nice back on it and a, and a solid grip, this is what Italian masons use. You know, the masons use this. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a popular tool, right? And this is what housekeepers are using mainly in hotels. So when we go to like the big Marriott Marquis and right. the larger hotels, they're using trowels because these oh. are really great for being able to get in there and scrub something out. These are really good also for dining room tables. They're really good for wall washing. They're really nice when you're trying to clean out a tough area. They actually have a little scraper. If you can see right on the top there, there's a little edge. Uh, oh, I see. I see what you're saying. <laughs> you know, a, little a little two in one you got going there. You know, these are the tools of the trade. And these are very popular today in housekeeping because people want to use these every day. And this can hang, you know, like I said, a lot of times we have a place, you know, our, our housekeepers will hang this off the side of their unit. They'll keep it in the, they'll keep it in the bucket and just use it throughout the wall washing day. But not, it's not necessary, of course. Right. I got you. Interesting. All right. So I want to I want to work on the I want to work on let's see what Abilene can come up with as far as the system the entire system and see if we can implement that into into yes. upstairs on the I'm second floor. In a, in, a, in a list for you and then like I said if you experiment maybe with one unit and you know well, maybe Abilene can get you a unit to try out and then see if you like to use I, I, at a very minimum you should consider just buying the flat box even if you don't buy the cart system or the bucket. I know, but the, to me, this is something that has been bothering for me for a while. Many I've always seen that where there you continuously use that same water, and who knows how long, and on and on and on. So for me, when you mentioned to me a clean system, even if it was 
for even if it if I can turn around and use that same system for a string map. So, yeah. you know, we could you can continue to use that, and that just makes good sense. Period. You know, whether you use anything else, it just makes good sense to continue to to to, to swap those two out. Um, you know, because of because of because of that that concept of using it. So let me just recap because I was taking some notes for myself as well. Um, besides, you're talking damp mapping. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking um, clean, clean versus versus reusable, right? I'm thinking versatility. Yeah, right. you know, I, like I said, the biggest obstacle you're going to face is is users. Once they get comfortable with it, um, right. I said you can't get rid of the string mops immediately. You have to wait for the string mops to break down. And Neither would I. Like you said, there is a use. There is a place for it. You know, when you need it. You know, when, like you said, in a, in a dining room or if somebody has you know an accident or something like that in the in a nursing home, you need to have that string mops. I think that that could absorb that amount of uh, liquid and so on. You know, if you want, I found I find a lot of times the showers. You know, they spill over, and so you have to. You know, collect all that water that comes out, especially if they're using a shower gurney or something like that. You know, you want to be able to, you know, either use a squeegee or uh, or something. You know, they're not going to pull out a vacuum for that. They'll just use a mop for that. So, um, so th that's not that I don't see going anywhere. But I, I think that we could start with the conversion at least on the second floor um, and try to. And like I said, let's try to 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 okay. see how how it takes off. You know, see what happens, what all they right. do. So we'll get you some samples of the stuff up to play with. And then, okay. um, and then we'll get back to you. But I'll get some samples sent out to you. Got it. All right, Vince. Okay. It was a pleasure. Thank you. So, and I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with what you're doing. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you, if ever one day you guys decide that you can come here. Um, Where are you guys based out of? Well, we're in Lodi, New Jersey, but our training center, we have a really awesome training center. And you okay. uh, really can't see it from this angle, but there's, you know, we've got, we've got lots of equipment. We've got kitchens. We've got carpeted areas i mean there's there's a ton of applications here that you really can't see right now but uh oh, very cool training at a big training center and uh like i said it's been a real powerful thing for us because we're able to bring in housekeeping managers and we do more train the trainer programs than anything so wow beautiful all right vince thank you so much for your time this morning well, all right next time i'll have a camera for you <laughs> thank you be well